Welcome to Guac Gaming. Guac King here with a video on Red Dead Online's weapon familiarity system. I'm going to go over the benefits of being familiar with weapons so you can see how being familiar with a weapon can get you an advantage in PvE and PvP situations. If you go on to find this video helpful, consider dropping me a like and subscribing as that really helps grow the channel. Now, weapon familiarity was a lot easier to track in single player. In single player, you had a weapon compendium that tracked familiarity with each weapon. As of this recording, Red Dead Online doesn't have a weapon compendium, but you can still check if you're familiar with a weapon or not if you know where to look. Now, if your weapon condition is completely maxed out, in other words, your weapon's clean, then you'll see where your stats are maxed out right here in the middle. Now, at the end of each bar, there's a gray area, and the gray area represents the maximum potential for each stat. And some of that potential is realized with just different ammo types. But as you can see, as I scroll through the different ammo types, there's some area that never reaches its full potential. Those areas are under range, accuracy, and reload speed. And the only one of those stats that isn't affected by ammo type is reload speed. So that ends up being the easiest one to check with. So if your weapon's fully cleaned and there's gray area at the end of the bar for reload speed, then you know you are not fully familiarized. On the flip side, if that bar is completely full, then you know you are fully familiarized. Now we can see that the stats exist, but Brizzle and I wanted to run through a bunch of tests to see what they actually meant for the player. So I bought a Lichfield brand new and upgraded it all the way. And Brizzle has a Lichfield with the same upgrades that he is fully familiarized with. So the only difference between our two guns is that he's familiar and I'm not. Then we proceeded to run through a bunch of tests. We tested the bloom size, while running, we tested damage at long range, paint it black at even longer range to see if one did more damage than the other. We tested ADS fire rate as well as hip fire rate. And then of course we tested reload speed. In the end, we could not substantiate the effects for increase in range and accuracy. The snap on range was exactly the same. The damage done across long distances was exactly the same. The bloom sizes were exactly the same. We couldn't see anything that actually changed with those two. However, the reload speed was for sure different. The unfamiliar Lichfield took an extra second to reload, which in a firefight, a second's a long time. So what's the point? Why worry about it? Well, it's gonna happen naturally with whatever guns you typically use anyway. And if you have certain guns you use exclusively and you typically just stay in free roam, then it's probably not really necessary for you to worry about other guns. But for me, I like the idea of being familiar with as many guns as possible. Because in PVP situations, there are a lot of game modes that force weapons on you. Sometimes you start off with a knife and you just get whatever you can grab, or sometimes you get a full loadout, but it's with guns you typically wouldn't use in free roam. So if you're familiar with those guns and the people you're going up against aren't, then having that extra fast reload could be the difference between a kill and a death. On top of that, you do have increased range and accuracy can't substantiate what it does. Rockstar is not very clear with that, but I'd rather have higher range and accuracy than lower range and accuracy. But even if you only do it for the reload speed, I think that's a good enough reason all on its own. Also, the more guns you play with, the better they actually feel to you. Rockstar did a good job at making each gun actually feel a little bit different. Not all the repeaters feel the same way. Not all the revolvers feel the same way. So the more guns you play with, the more familiar you actually personally become with them. Oh, and getting familiar is pretty straightforward. I believe it's based on the XP you get for a kill. So if you're just using a gun with PVE, you'll level it up sooner or later, but using a gun in PVP where you get more XP per kill, you'll become familiar a lot faster. All right, if you thought this guide was helpful, Drop me a like and subscribe for more Red Dead Online content. Next time you bring the chips, cause I got the guap.